Low-key tough, though, I swear. What? Well, no, read his name. Yeah. I know the name. What's his name? Yeah. Dude, I don't know very well. All right, so gastropods consist of snails, limpid, and slugs. Snails can withdraw into their shell completely. Limpids cannot go into their shell. And slugs have little to no shell. Um, there are over 35,000 species overall, and they can be monoecious or dioecious. Do you guys remember what those words mean? 
Dyesha. Isn't Dyesha's where it's like separate female and male? Correct. So Dyesha's means that one is a male and one is a female. Or sorry, Dyesha's one male, one female. Monisha's means that it's it's one. They just have one, so they're not separate. Um. So Dyesha's it die meaning two. Monisha's meaning one. Um. So they could be either. They could have one, like for instance, snails. I've got a bunch of snails over in one of those containers over there. Um, snails, especially the type I have in that container over there, they're monishas. They can have both male and female parts. So all you need are two snails and they're gonna reproduce. So usually you get lots of snails. Aren't snails like super invasive? They typically are, yes. So the snails I got in there, I got from some plants that I needed for a class, and they came on the plants, and now I have lots of snails. No, you do not. I don't particularly mind. I don't mind the snails, but some people don't like them. I don't really care. Can I go to the bathroom, Miss Ayers? Thank you. Okay, this is what a um, snail looks like on the inside. Here are the eye stalks with the tentacles with the eyes on them. Um, they can't really see very well. Their eye spots aren't really good. It mostly senses like light and dark. They can see a little bit. Um, mouth, of course, with the radula in here. And then we have um, the reproductive opening is actually down here. This is mostly just muscular foot area. So a mucus gland helps to produce mucus, all of that is in this area. As we mentioned the other day, all of the breathing, the excretory, all of that is happening up here above the head. So nothing is really going on up here. This is all just foot for movement. Everything interesting, all of the excretory and breathing takes place above the shell in that part. They can retract if it's a snail. They can retract into their shell, and all of this just gets squished. This is what the radula looks like, really, really close up. You can see why it's so good at scraping. Um, this is at 100 magnification. This is at 40 magnification. So when you zoom in really close, you can see how good it is at getting um, all that algae and stuff off of the surface. These are the different gastropods that you are responsible for. There's lots of different gastropods. So we've got the Myrcidia, which is very spiny. We will actually look at one of these in class. Um, it'll be one of the ones you're responsible for identifying. A nudibranch is a sea slug. So this one is found in the ocean. Whelk, conch, um, patella vulgata. Then we've got the conidae, and then we've got the abalone. The abalone actually looks very beautiful on the inside. It's got a very iridescent kind of shell on the inside, and it's got all of these little openings that it uses to help it breathe. Here's the umbo part of it, which is, of course, the oldest part of it. Again, these pictures are in Google Classroom. Any of these are fair game for the test. So don't forget to go back to these, study them when we get close to the test because there will be identification portion on your test. These you might need to identify, okay? 
The way the identification portion works, there'll be a picture and then there'll be a drop down menu with names and you'll have to identify with the drop down menu which one it could be. So don't forget to go back and study those because you might see this picture on there. I need to know that's a well. From here on out, that's how your tests are going to be. There will always be identification. All right. It's a big part of zoology is knowing what you're looking at. Escargot. Has anybody ever had escargot? I have. It's so delicious. No, I actually haven't. I apologize. Mm -hmm. I never tried that before. Escargot is a delicacy, which is snail. Um, heard it's very chewy. I am not an adventurous eater. I am a very cheese pizza kind of person. You're a picky eater. I am, very much, I admit it. I am a picky eater, and so I would probably not try it, in, in truth. I probably wouldn't. I am not very adventurous, probably not going to try it. Um, but good for you, for those who would try this. I mean, tell me how it is. I probably wouldn't. But um, escargot, you can eat these. You can eat snails and limpets and slugs if you would like. I spent time over Christmas break watching a lot of those survival shows. Um, Alone was one of them. And some of the things those people ate, well done for you. I, not, not necessarily for me. I'm sure they're in like oil. I think so. I think they're like in an oil that's kind of like, that's their, their juice, the slime maybe bubbling out of the, I don't know. It's what, another reason I wouldn't eat it. My, my brother is a very adventurous eater and his wife is Filipino. And um, when he, he married her in the Philippines and um, apparently a delicacy is an embryonic chick that's still in the egg. And he ate the whole thing and just gulped it down. It's like, no, thank you. Couldn't do that. No, thank you. Not for me. To swallow a whole chick like whole. Mm -hmm. Couldn't do it. Okay, so short notes today. Look at that. You guys are welcome. Yay! Short notes. Okay, so you have the cephalopod research and the fill in the blank that are both due tomorrow. Probably gonna get some more new notes or some new assignment tomorrow. Definitely getting new notes tomorrow, too. Um, but cephalopod research and fill in the blanks due tomorrow. You will have new notes tomorrow as well. Um, but I'm not giving you a new assignment today. So you have plenty of time to get those other two done. Does anybody else need a copy of that assignment? Which one? Printed out one, the fill in the blank one? No. You need one? Okay. Anybody else? Nope. All right. Get to work on those two. If you have questions, let me know.